and go boom. The whole building just shakes. Terry Fuqua knew something was terribly wrong. The building was swinging. I see the debris coming down. I knew it right then there was an explosion. Fuqua says seconds seemed like minutes, but once the swaying stopped, he and his co-workers had just one thing in mind, getting to the stairwell and down 35 flights. I mean, it's filled with smoke, difficult to breathe, absolute fear. I mean, it's the most fearful thing I've ever experienced in my life. At times, Fuqua says panic set in as movement in the crowded stairwell came to a standstill. You only think about yourself. I didn't think about my co-workers. I didn't think about anyone else in that building. I just wanted to get out. That was until he reached the 22nd floor and saw an elderly woman in distress. Fuqua came to her aid and helped her get to the 16th floor. And then... The older lady told me, so you're a young man. You need to go because I'm not going to, I'm not going to move. I can't move. I can't breathe. I can't move my legs. I, I saw the look in her eyes. She had just given up, shut down. Fuqua couldn't convince her to keep going. <clears throat> And uh, I'm really struggling with that. All the while, Fuqua had no idea what had happened. Once outside, he ran to safety, but the horror was still all around him. Looking up and looking up, and people's crying, and then you see a person jumps from the 80th floor area. And uh, less than a minute from that, another person jumps. And that's when Fuqua fled New York City. He didn't even go back to his Wall Street hotel for his belongings. Yet no matter how far away he is from it now, the images won't go away. You can't disconnect from it. Um, I, I can't sleep at night. Can't eat. I have crying episodes, but I'll <clears throat> I want to let go, but I can't let go. In Indianapolis, Sandra Chapman, Wish TV, News 8.